Hi, Jill Jackson in the studio today to show you how to create a layered beachy pour. My recipe for paint is one third acrylics and two thirds Floetrol. I'll begin with two dirty cups, one to represent the sand and one for the sea. For the sand, I've added white, gold, pearl, rose gold, a touch of black, and 24 karat gold to add some variation. And for the sea, I like to add white, light blue, ultramarine, a little green, aqua, purple, and black. I'll start pouring my beach sand in ribbons and give it a good stretch, and then I'll go on to pour the water. This is where it shows why I added different colors into my dirty cup for the beach pour. I really enjoy seeing the different gradations in the sand. I think that adds a lot of interest. I love to pour water with fluid acrylics. I think paint pouring really lends itself to splashes and the right movement for the waves. So let's give this a stretch. And bring everything back to center. A quick torching will remove any bubbles. I'm really happy with the way this came out. I like the movement in those fine details. I'll show you how to add the sea foam after the canvas dries. It took about two days for this painting to dry completely. So now the canvas is dry and I'm going to cover the entire thing with straight Floetrol. I know it sounds odd, but wait until you see what we can do with this. Not only will the Floetrol give a good sheen after it's dried, but while it's wet, we can use it to create some lacing. I've been working in resin for some time and done a lot of experimentation with how to create the lacing. So I experimented to figure out how to use this in a straight paint pour. The first color I'm going to lay down is Artist Loft White mixed in my regular recipe. Followed by Deco Art Metallics and Sterling Silver mixed 50-50 with Floetrol and Deco Art Metallics and Pearl mixed the same way. Using my dedicated art blow dryer on the high setting, I begin blowing out some sea foam or lacing. Go nice and slow. You'll want to blow the paint towards both the water and the sand. Sometimes it's hard to see where you're going with this method, but keep going and don't worry about it. The water, the sea foam, would come from the water over onto the sand, and that's really the look that we're going for anyway. You can already start to see some of the lacing, but just wait until it's dry. The Floetrol actually disappears as it dries. I let the canvas dry again and sealed it with some clear spray gloss. I believe I had Rust-Oleum on hand. When the Floetrol dries, it leaves the canvas with a semi-gloss finish, but I like to seal it to protect it. I think that's pretty incredible sea foam. And I think that the layering adds a real depth and dimension to the piece. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips and ideas and visit sisterearth.net for videos, events, and to check out the fine art and children's books available for purchase. As always, happy creating, my friends.